recce, put our uh, toiletries with the team stuff and uh, flying out to Cyprus later on today, buzzing. I think for the B team project prior to COVID, it was a huge part of the whole season. Uh, and in my time here, we've had some terrific tours uh, in Spain and Portugal, and we've obviously been here before. So to come back here on a tournament basis, I think is fantastic. You know, we're obviously in two groups of three, and we obviously have that competitive edge. Uh, and the boys are really looking forward to it. I think this particular group that we're working with at present really deserve this. You know, they've came through a lot individually and as a team through COVID. Uh, and to come out here now uh, and, as I said, really look forward to playing a competitive tournament against good, strong first teams, I think that will really benefit them. And also, as well, it brings the group even closer together if that's possible because they're a really tight-knit group. And you just get that opportunity to, to be with them 24-7 and, and really delve into the type of characters that we know we've got. A couple of really important things. Game tomorrow, so we need to get switched on immediately this morning. And three games within seven days where every single player will play really good minutes. So that's important. You need to be ready for the period that you're on the pitch. And Pud's actually mentioned that it's to his, just to actually before we come out here, the closeness of this group phenomenal. He's a really tight bunch and you've got to drive each other right through these seven days. Really, really important that that keeps going. Because there'll be times through the seven days where you're feeling a little bit, yeah, a little bit leggy. No excuse culture. Get that in their mind right away. Yeah. Even here this morning, we're preparing for the Pathos game tomorrow. Mind right from this moment in the training, we're tuned in and train the way we do back at Jersey Road, alright? Let's go for it. Trip. And lunch rotate on the way back. Nice, uh, Loose on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think to have the tours back is first and foremost outstanding for the B team project. It's one of the reasons when we speak to players and their agents and their families that we, we can deliver this type of thing for them and, and to put it back on the table is, is fantastic. So hopefully at the end of the week we come out of that as as again getting closer and closer together as a group and hopefully with some really good performances to back up. We had a great first session today and uh, looking forward to the first match tomorrow and the second game on Wednesday and hopefully the decider match on Friday. All the boys are buzzing to finally get away. And yeah, we're really good. We play every game with real intensity and real desire to obviously win, but the most important thing is developing these young players and, and this just gives us an added incentive tomorrow and, and as I said, it's, it's, it's really, 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 really exciting.
Firstly, a top game against, I say, a really, really strong outfit. Eight of the players that started their last league game uh, started in this fixture, so it showed how much respected they they showed us. And uh, it was a physical game. They pressed really high. We probably learnt more out of that game than we have for the last five or six games that we played. So, as a project, um, to make these players better, and that's what we're here to do. That's some some invaluable learning that we've had there, and we've had before we trained today. We just had a, a, a debrief on the game, going through bits and bobs, what we felt we could have done better, what we felt we'd done well at. Um, and now that's put to bed, and now we'll prep for the next game. That's another test, a quick turnaround for our boys. We've only brought 14 out here. So it's going to be a quick turnover, picked up a couple of knocks. So it's going to be tight with players and stuff, but that for us is not an excuse. It's great for the boys to have to recover and go again and, and say fight, face another tough test. I feel like I've, as a new coach, I've covered every every base of, of coaching, and that's down to Neil. Firstly, helping me find out what my principles are and our principles are aligning. And secondly, letting me have the session and the time on the grass. These boys can't afford to waste a day. They've got two years in this system, really. Um, so they've got to make the most of every every training day, every match day. Obviously, the coming out here in such a good um, environment, in a good place like this, you want to start off a tournament as well as you can. And obviously, starting out with a game like that, losing 5-1 is not how you want to start. In the second half, obviously, the game was gone, but we tried, we tried our hardest to try to get back into the game. We got one goal, and then we lost another sloppy one. But I feel like the boys, the boys understand where we've went wrong. Um, so yeah, we just need to pick ourselves up. It was a test that we needed, and obviously, with tomorrow's game as well, they'll be a good side. So we need to be ready for that. It's working over the cone, Trish, right leg, three hot. Wait. And change. So uh, my name's Jay Harris, I work for The Athletic. I joined in July. It's my remit to cover anything related to Brentford, basically. So obviously that involves uh, the senior side and the women's side, but also means I get the opportunity to uh, go to Woking, Hampton and Richmond, Southend to follow the B team and on this lovely occasion at uh, Paphos in Cyprus. It's been an amazing experience. I think obviously Brentford's B team is something that's unique, isn't it? It's not something that you see across the rest of English football. And I think from spending time uh, with the coaching staff, with the boys, I really see the merits of why they've done it. When you watch them play against your Wokins, your Southends, your Hampton and Richmonds, and you see them coming up against, you know, non-league players, but players who are in their, you know, mid twenties, early thirties, far more experienced in one in one essence, it's really intriguing to see how those boys react to that challenge. This games program that Brentford B have just enables them to to get a wide range of experience. 
it's 25 degrees and it's mid, in, in the middle of the day over here. So again, that's another different experience for them. And you can just see how they react to it. If results don't go their way, they don't get their head down. It's, it's a great setup they've got here. Perds, uh, Swans, Neil, they, they really do push us in training and they've set the mentality for us that a lot of players that are, um, have grass, like people like Dom Jeffries, he's really stepped up this year uh, with his voice and things like that. So I feel like everyone's so together. Uh, I'm Alfie, I'm the performance analyst for, for Brentford B. Yeah, so the pre-match meeting this morning, uh, just to go through some, some bits, some opposition profiling uh, of how they play and what we saw when we went to watch their game yesterday uh, against Paphos, and then some bits about ourselves, how we're going to play. Um, so during the game, um, I'll be filming and live coding, so specifically a few things that we picked up on. So in the pre-match meeting, we'll have, we'll have points of how we're going to win the game and some objectives of how we're going to play, so I'll always be relating what I'm coding uh, to that. I think the boys are really disappointed. We were there in the change room because we all, within those 90 minutes, everyone worked so hard on and off the ball. We're just very disappointed. We just need to iron out those little mistakes that leads to the goals. And obviously, men's football, they'll just punish you. The attitude of our group today was unbelievable. They were a proper team. You know, no matter what happened throughout the game, they just applied themselves the way we want. And, and as I said to them before in the dressing room, be the best teammate today, they certainly were for each other. So I'm going to get straight in there, yeah. Obviously, been away with Wales in 21s, um, played Switzerland last night um, in Newport Rodney Parade, lost 1 0, unfortunately. Um, drove back up um, to my home Bolton and then got on this morning, got a flight from Manchester and um, now I'm here in Pathos. Different challenges, different days, different challenges, um, different teams. Um, obviously it'll be a different challenge from what we used to and the games we play back home, um, different pitches, different conditions. So it's a good experience for us. Thank you. 
Capable of playing many, many formations because of the principles and the fundamentals that we put into the players at the training ground back home. And I said they adapted to it great. And I said I thought they thoroughly deserved the win, and we could have scored more in the second half. Offside or not? We had a meeting, and everyone was saying, like, Do you want to play? And then he gave us a choice if he wanted to play or not. And all the boys being like who they are and what they like, we all said, Yeah, we deserve to play and we want to win. So we all got in the gym straight away and spent an hour, two hours, pool, stretching, pool, stretching, pool, stretching for the straight two hours, ate loads of food and just went again. <laughs> Stacked up on electrolytes, everything. But yeah, I prepared right the night before and towards the game, so I knew I'd be fine. It was a proper men's game. They were clever, more streetwise than what we're used to. Tough. We can take a lot from these games and take it into our games and learn. I think sports closer together as well as a, as a group. Team bonding, like doing this and doing that, doing things. Like, there's this trust in me that Neil's given me to be captain. And I think I show that quality anyway, leading training off, on and off the pitch. And yeah, I was buzzing to have it and uh, help the boys and push the boys through all the games. I think one of the main things this week has been uh, the congested fixture schedule um, and the ability of the players to tolerate uh, condensed loads that they wouldn't normally have throughout the season at Jersey Road. Listen, yesterday was tough, having to play a game 24 hours or less than 24 hours after your last game. Um, and when you've got the ability to make two, three changes, it is hard. So um, the boys have done brilliant to come through the game. We've done our fair share of tours before. It's just good to get them back. We have a new group of players. We learn a lot about players and staff and it just really brings everyone together. Working with Jordan as well, I've gained a lot more knowledge on how the tours work and the amount of work and effort that goes into, into it and preparing as well. The boys are just normal people and when they're on the pitch they work so hard and they come off the pitch and they do their recovery, they help us out, everyone's on time, the standards are so high and that's credit to them. I think it's credit to the lads that they knew their jobs and carried out those fundamentals and principles in a different shape with such a late change as well. This is this one, one of the top tournaments we've been, we've been involved, very good to competitive games against the first teams. So what you have to remember that we're playing against the first teams on their main leagues. And if you look like Europa League and European competitions, there's been, there's been every year there's some Cypriot teams involved. This has been a very good tournament for us. From a medical perspective, we, we knew that it was going to be physically demanding because we don't play such a you know, high number of games in a short amount of time back at home. So we had to make sure we were, we were on it, making sure they were recovering properly in between games. And, you know, credit to them, they, they dug in really deep. We've um, managed to come away with nothing serious. Um, you know, they're, they're sore and we expect them to be sore, but uh, they've done a really good job. They definitely showed a lot of resilience and they showed their character in those games. I think from a medical point of view, they all showed that um, they're, they're still very, very good, very fit. There are a lot of heavy legs at the moment, but uh, in terms of injuries, we managed to um, get back to England uh, injury free. The opportunity to play these types of fixtures and to play tournament football in a condensed format. Um, huge success, great to have come back out here. The games have been really good, like we've played some strong teams and we've played against good players with great experience, so no complaints at all. Um, and really it's about trying to keep this process going and keep testing them in these ways.